like to welcome everybody to the January meeting of the Homebrew Robotics Club. If you made it here, you passed the intelligence test of figuring out that it's not the other meeting place. So, very good. Okay. Um, how many people is this their first time here? Very good. Okay. Um, what we want to do, and, and no, um, what we're going to, the way this all works is we do club related uh, stuff today first, followed by show and tell. Um, and then after that, we have a small break and then we do our presentations. After the presentations, uh, we break up and we just talk with one another. We call that random oh. access. And uh, at around 10, we get kicked out. Um, and historically, if the weather's been good, we, some of us keep, keep on talking. But I'm not too sure how long that's going to be tonight. So let me get, let's get going. Um, let's see. Uh, I actually have a bit of club stuff to go through today because we had our <laughs> executive committee meeting. Um, so let's see, let me talk briefly about schedule. Our schedule will, the main meeting will be the last Wednesday of the month, except in October. The last Wednesday of the month in October is Halloween, and we're not gonna meet on Halloween. We want people to be able to, you know, go trick or treating, or hand out candy, or, do, or turn off their lights and, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I think what we should do is have robots go trick or treating. Yeah, I, I agree the robot idea is good. Anyway, we'll be, we're going to shift, on October, we're going to shift the HPRC meeting in forward one week, uh, and the SIG gets pushed forward one week along with it, okay? SIG stands for Special Interest Group. It's just another uh, meeting where there's no agenda. You just, people show up and they talk about robots, show robots, do robot kind of things. Okay. Uh, in addition, last year we started the club uh, robot build, where we get some robots built for uh, new people um, for the first <laughs> robot challenge in June. And there's going to be th uh, three additional SIGs in, let me get it right, um, April, May, and June. So there'll, there'll be, rather than just one SIG, the week before the meeting, there'll be two SIGs, both on Wednesdays, but before the meeting. And this is this will provide time for people to build um, uh, table lots. Okay. Um, okay, now I'm gonna talk briefly about budget. Our current balance is about, oh, $1,100, a little bit more than that, okay? Uh, much of that was a donation from um, David Calkins from, uh, from RoboGames to us. So um, you know, we like the, we like RoboGames and we like the Calkins. Okay, our budget for the year is we're going to probably spend some money printing flyers. Uh, we have you know we want to go to places like Maker Faire, Robo Games, and the like. We should show up with flyers. We'd like to have a banner, okay. Uh, that, that's gone through all of $200 of our budget. Um, and then uh, we think it would be a great idea to have t-shirts, okay. Um, part of this is a, a t-shirt envy from the uh, WRRF. Uh, where, where's the, yeah, 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 you're making us look bad by giving out t-shirts at your, your event, so we got, we've got to do the same. You're judging a polo shirt. Oh yeah, isn't that cool? Um, so, uh, but this means we need a logo. So we're this month uh, we're going to uh, put out a little call for logos, and uh, just remember, whatever comes in by next next uh, meeting is what we get to choose from. Okay. What? We'll vote. Yeah, we'll vote at the next meeting. Okay. Color, yes. No color. I think we should probably keep it just black and white. And I'm not going to no further restrictions on that. I mean, it has to be tasteful, okay? But, yeah. Okay. So we don't need to dive in on, on the logo. We, we need to do this in a hurry so that we have time to do the t-shirt run. 
and then we're going to use the, treasure, the club treasury to um, do the initial funding of the t-shirts uh, as a loan, and then as people buy them off, we, we, uh, we get reimbursed. So that's, that's the t-shirt uh, uh, thing. Um, last year I was trying to do the badge thing where I print up HBRC official badges. It seems kind of redundant given that you know we print out badges here at Google. So we're just going to sort of let that whole concept you know, settle down for a while. Um, okay. Um, let's see. Is there any way to get some light up here? I'm going blind. Uh, okay. Our outreach events for the year are going to be <coughs> Robot Week. Um, and we've already got a volunteer for that. Ralph is going to do Robot Week again. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we would probably like to have another volunteer to do robot help liaison with, with Dave Hawkins for robot games, robot games. And I we may not succeed. Oh, you did something. Right, we'll see. Okay. Um, no, I believe Robo Games and Robot Week are sort of like together. Uh, but we don't want to sort of dump Robo Games in Ralph's lap. We want somebody else to help out. Okay, we're going to do uh, WRRF again. Um, you know, everybody had a good time uh, last, you know, when was it, September? October. It was October, so everybody had a great time in October. 12th and 13th. 12th and 13th, okay. And then we completely dropped the ball on Maker Fair, and we'd like to do better on Maker Fair this time around. And that's what the banner and, and flyers are for is for these events, okay. Um, let's see. Uh, and we're also probably going to talk a little bit with tech shop to see if we could be, do a little some more synergistic stuff with tech shop you know they've been supporting us with the sig maybe we can we, we can help them out a little uh, so okay um well let's see um an idea that came up is you know right now what the way talks happen in the club is people volunteer to give a talk on something and it just seems like maybe we have so many people with so much knowledge in this club we should let people ask for possible talks I mean like I gave a talk on stepper motors like 15 years ago and if somebody wanted to have, a, have another talk on stepper motors I could, I could do something like that again I don't think there are very many people here who remember my stepper motor talk <laughs> I'm probably only two um, so, um, by the way, you shouldn't use stepper motors on robots. They're a bad idea. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, we'll do that on the mail list. We'll, I'm going to send out a post to the mail list saying, what are topics that people would like to hear, hear about? And then we'll use that as an idea. And then we'll see if somebody says, oh, I can do that talk. And then we can help fill in some talks. Uh, because our, our program chair, Rose, back there, Oops. Uh, she just. She schedules it. She doesn't create the talks. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, I get to be uh, the mail list mom um, or dad, or something. And I just like to keep request people try and keep the subject lines on t on topic. Okay. Uh, try and trim some of the you know after you've replied 18 times, it gets a little long. Let's trim the posts some. And uh, I'd also like to uh, ask if there's anything, any other issues people think there's go that are going on with the mail list that needs to be addressed. I'm just asking. If you can't think of anything, you know, you can send me a, a message offline if, if you think there's any issues that we have to cope with. I think we're over 500 members on the list now. Okay. Um, And we're talking about doing some sort, we've got the club bot for introductory stuff. We think it's time to sort of have a next, the next level up robot that's being kicked around. Uh, Ralph, Ralph, yeah, Ralph, Ralph has got a proposal, so we'll let him do that. Okay. Um, the turtle bot seems to be moving around from, from the club to club. I should ask, does anybody know where, the, where Willie is I've going? I've got Willie, Willie's in the van. So, who, so who wants to take Willie home for a month? Don't everybody jump up at once. Not only well behaved. Yeah, he doesn't bite. 
But what, what are the rules? You have to make it do something more than no. You just take it home and you try and you, you try and make it do it's, something it's interesting. It's a platform to learn this Ross operating system. And folks, if you're not getting on board with Ross, you you're really missing something that's that's going to be huge. Yeah. If there are no rules. Before you do is get up running. That's great. If you do something more with it, that's even better. But we don't expect that. Take it home and learn it. So, no. You don't already have a tool about to go up the to go play one. So it's there, please take it from you. So, so I think all the problems that Alan and Camp had originally, we've kind of smoothed so over, so it should be pretty smooth going. No, I think suffer. everyone should repeat the same problems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. because, because you have to suffer if you want to see the blues. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. So please, somebody jump up and grab somebody, it. Somebody jump up. Okay, we'll, we'll keep working on it. Okay, um, and, and, and it's like a knife fight. There's no rules. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. Maybe we should play musical chairs. I don't know. And whoever loses, they yeah, get it. No, I don't think so. Uh, and we're, we're looking for somebody to help upload all the videos that uh, Bill Spangler has been taking. So yeah, we found that person. You found the person that's been found. Thank you, Patrick. I thought I'd walk in. Oh, well, Patrick's going to do it? Okay. Thank you very much, Patrick. Because we're way behind in getting our, 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 our videos up, and uh, we, need, we need to make that happen. Okay. Uh, we're probably going to create a, a club YouTube channel so that not just can do our club videos go on there, but if anybody has an interesting video of their robot doing something, they can post it on the club YouTube uh, channel. Um, and that is about it. Any questions? <coughs> Excellent. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, let me ask again. Uh, how, how many people is this, is this their first meeting here? Okay. A bunch of new people. New people walked in the, the door. I'll quickly go over how it works. We do show and tell first. Uh, or club stuff first. I keep hitting this. Sorry. Uh, we do club stuff first. Then we do show and tell robots. We break. Then we do our talks. When the talks are over, we just sort of mill around and talk with one another. Okay. Yeah. Michael? Uh, we forgot to tell everyone about the, the price of this year's dues. What? We forgot to tell everyone the price of this year's dues. You're right. I totally forgot about dues. Okay. <laughs> the decision that we had is because we're not really feeling very much pressure on the uh, budget, uh, on the bank account. There will be no dues for the, the, the club this year. So, yeah. So, uh, uh, can't, can't can't argue with that. Okay. Thank you for reminding me. Um, okay. And the other thing is the restroom is down that way. Turn left, and you sort of right and right, and then you get to the bathroom. So it's. That's, again, it's kind of an intelligence test. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I think that's that's it for club news. I try, I'm trying to do this as quick as I can. Okay. I'll just follow up. On okay, you're going to mention there. Yeah. All right. Um, National Robotics Week. Oh, come up to the yeah, please do. Yeah, so I just wanted to get... A uh, show of hands for, there's two events we've done for part of National Robotics Week in the past. One was the Robot Block Party, which I haven't seen them advertised yet for this part of the world. Is, Tony, do you know if Willow's involved in anything with that? No, I'm not sure. Anybody heard of Stanford or anybody? So we assume that there's going to be a Robot Block Party at Stanford, but we haven't got dates yet. There is show of hands of people who'd be interested in bringing their robots. That's during the weekdays, right? It's usually a Thursday, I think. It's usually one, just one day, and I think it's been on Thursday the last couple of times. But, but what, what week is National Robotics Week? I, no, I should have written the dates down. I didn't. It's in April. I think I it's the it. week of the 16th. So, so Robo Games is the 20th through the 22nd. Yes, so right. I guess that's the yeah. weekend. Yeah, I think it starts the, the weekend. The Ro National Robot Week is the week before Robo Games, I think. Um, so that sounds great. We'll get a, you know, if they come up with a robot block party, we'll make sure we get in there yeah. to, to participate in that again. The other thing we did last year was we had the open day at Tech Shop. Um, show of hands again, if people would want to come and bring a robot to that, that was just 
and hang out in the, at the SIG meeting room in Tech Shop and we open up to the public and advertise it through the National Robotics Week. And we got 50 or more people with little with families that came and just spent a couple of hours talking to people and so on their robots and it was a lot of fun. The whole idea of National Robotics Week, if you're not familiar with it, is it is sponsored, I guess, by the government. It's officially a national event. <laughs> Um, but nationally, robotics and technology companies celebrate so-called ro Robot Week, and it's all about promoting STEM for kids and getting kids interested in science and technology and, and through robotics and technology, so it's a great cause to be part of. So uh, I said when they, the committees get organised, I'll, I'll talk to the tech shop people and, and get a time for doing the, the open house again. And then the other activity that Wayne alluded to was as Camp's done a great job with the, the club bug, um, getting people started at the beginner level, and we'll be running a separate set of workshops to bring uh, get people up to speed for the, the challenges this year. Because now we have a lot of people here starting to get into Ross, and we have the turtle bots, we're looking at running a separate set of workshops for people who want to learn Ross and, and be able to get some hands-on tutoring and help and, and walk you through with, with Ross and a turtle bot. So we'll probably, whether we do a special session or we piggyback the, th the extra weeks that camp's using or we just use the regular week. Again, show of hands with people who'd be interested in coming along to the SIG and, and getting some more hand holding with Ross and stuff. Okay, that sounds great. So we'll, we'll figure out how to accommodate that. That's all I wanted to say. That'll be coming up in the next couple of months. We'll get that rolling for everybody. So, very good. Okay, thanks. Excellent. Okay, any more uh, club related stuff? No, okay. So, um, what I'd like to do, we're, we're going to do. Robot general stuff. Now. Well, whatever. There's bar bots on March the 2nd and 3rd in San Francisco. This is associated with Robo Games, kind of a robot culture thing. Oh. And of course, Opportunity has just started its <coughs> ninth year of exploring Mars. Yeah. And Curiosity is halfway there now. In August, we'll have another uh, robot laboratory on Mars. Mm -hmm. It's impressive. Okay, it's always supposed to last three months. <laughs> Something like we'll, that. We'll see. Yeah. Well, no, no, I'm just telling you. Yeah, that, NASA was only promising three months. The landing's going to be interesting. On a new one, I know. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. Okay, what I'd like to do is invite people with. Uh, smaller children to come on up and so they can see the, the show and tell. We're going to try and do as much show and tell on those tables as we can, okay? And so there's some, some chairs over here. We, we just want, don't want people, kids having to look around all these adults trying, trying to see the uh, thing. Okay. Uh, we don't have as many children tonight. Okay. Um, so with, with no uh, further ado, let's go on to show and tell.